As a user of Android smartphones, it's possible the KDE experience will resonate to your bones. Plasma's next-gen experience, something quite familiar, though lack of apps can make you a bit bitter, perhaps with Android compatibility will be a bit better. Just as Wine helped convert many to desktop, maybe Anbox could help us reach the top, aim to convert, no shame, just a bit more fame? Or is a smaller flame that burns less bright but burn much longer be better? I sign this letter. We'll move to something tactile, the Pine Phone with KDE Plasma Mobile. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that only 3% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you like what you see and want to support the channel, you can do so by subscribing. This allows you to stay notified, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe. My videos are also available on Odyssey. If you are already a user of Android, KDE may offer the most familiar experience whilst remaining pure GNU Linux. Out of our current options, anyway. With a familiar three-button layout and only slightly different simple symbol changes, this layout of your home environment is nice. I enjoy it. I can customize it super easily, which is very nice to have and I suppose expected from KDE. I didn't expect to see it so soon though. The default browser is as good as any other pre-installed browser I've seen in any other distro, but when I went to try out YouTube, I noticed that the audio was non-existent. After a bit of research, it seems like they are trying to fix this for the future. I mean, of course they are, duh. Anyway, no sound, not yet, noted. And, ugh, the package manager GUI is so slow. Even Blender ran smoother than this with software rendering. Definitely unusable and needs some work. My goodness, what happened? Why is this, of all things, so slow? Okay, I managed to install a couple of puzzle games. 2048 is... oh my gosh, it's so smooth. Ah, I'm being hit with so many emotions. This is nice. It nearly seems like 60 hertz? Great! What a pleasant surprise. Here's the phone app. It's nice. I got LMMS installed. Runs really well, I, I think. Without any sound, I can't really test that much. There is a pre-installed file manager, but it keeps crashing on launch for me, so I don't know what's up with that. A calendar to organize events, note-taking app, clock, stopwatch, a terminal. This is always so cool to have. I love having access to my phone's shell. This is great. I, I love this. You can swipe from the top, like on Android, to have access to various simple actions. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, turning those on and off. Oh, and there's a complete list of options to tinker with, with the, the settings. You can change nearly any and every single thing here. It's, it's really cool. It's really nice to have this GUI. You can even change the theming, which is really rad. Some GTK apps have window decorations, and I find this kind of odd. But it's funny to be able to move them around. Once more, so smooth. All of this optimized apps and OS's will run even better with optimized drivers and kernel. Before we conclude, I just want to let you know that only 3% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you like what you see and want to support me, you can do so by subscribing. Know that doing so is free and fills me with glee. KDE Plasma is not bad, not bad at all. I really look forward to following its development. I see real potential in this being the most popular people's choice for a daily driver. It has both the simplicity of Android whilst giving you the freedom of, well, KDE. Thank you for watching.